back here post game after uh, Rapid City FC's second home match, an impressive 9 2 win. And I'm with man of the match, Giuseppe Baroni. Hat trick on the night. Uh, tell me about that game. What a uh, huge step from uh, that first home game. Yeah, I think that uh, we're finally starting to, as a team, gel chemistry wise. So I think it's showing in the performances now um, in terms of fitness, in terms of playing with each other, uh, learning each other, how we move, how we pass. So I think that that was shown tonight. Yeah, and I got to say that third goal, the shorthanded one, you uh, were on a two-man rush, centered to you, you touched it over the defender and then finished with the left foot, I believe. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I kind of walked it through, but that was beautiful. Uh, you guys were really on fire in the second quarter. Tell us about that's kind of where the game opened up there. Yeah, I think that's the joy of indoor soccer is you get those opportunities to really show yourself, and you get them more, I think, in indoor soccer. So I think that's where you, you, you get to show yourself your creativity and, and kind of have a little fun with it, and that's, that's exactly what, what happened. So what overall four games into this uh, Major League indoor soccer season, brand new club, um, I guess what made you join up, and then how do you feel about how it's going right now? Um, first and foremost, uh, the, the GM, Lewis Stevenson, he's been awesome with us. He's been so accommodating. He's been there for us uh, a ton, the players. And so first and foremost, that was the reason why I, I joined the team, because I knew how good he would be to us. And then on top of that now, the coaching staff, the players, it's been, it's been really good and it's been a family environment. So nothing but good things for me. So a few of you guys have played with Taylor before, but um, did you guys feel like, uh, so you definitely feel like your, your, your chemistry is really growing? Like, what was like the turning point where you guys feel like it was really starting to come on? Yeah, I think it's still growing, right? I think that, you know, just with the with training and, and games, we've been together, I think, a few months now. So it's starting to, like, fitness is starting to get there. We're getting used to the indoor, the physicality that it takes, like the short bursts and, and, and just that different kind of physicality that it takes. So I think that's that's what's been uh, playing a factor. Because that's kind of different. A lot of these guys aren't necessarily like long-time indoor guys, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. Like most of us have played outdoor together. We'll play some indoor, you know, here and there, but nothing, you know, official or uh, structured like this. So I think that, you know, having two months together has been big, and you're starting to see the the, the results from that. Not only did you guys really do well uh, in the attacking third, like you, you seem dominant from start to finish tonight. Um, also, what can you say? I mean, with there being five field players, you kind of have to do a little bit of everything. You guys also did a lot of block shots and a lot of stopped a lot of. There's a lot of good defensive speed there. You guys didn't really let a lot of breakaways happen. Yeah, I think that's the big difference between this game and our first home game. I think we gave up seven or eight goals in our first home game. This one, too. So, I mean, you know, defense coming first and, and realizing that that's going to help us, you know, transition to offense. And I think that's exactly what we did. We were way more intense defensively, which helped us uh, in the result of the game. Yeah, I definitely saw a big difference from the first game to the second. Obviously, in, like, the result with how many goals let in. But the type, I mean, they only scored, they, the only goals they had were from free kicks. 100%. And then you, you never really allowed them... Um, and many shots when you had the shots your goalkeepers came up for it. Yep, 100%. Yeah, so I think credit to our defenders, credit to everyone up the field. And I think our goalie came up big a few times, like came out big and made some big saves, even took one on the head one time. So, yeah, all around we were very intense defensively. So, so next game is on the road against Cleveland, the only team that you guys have lost yeah. to. So what do you think about that game coming up? I think it's the same thing we approach this game. It's just defensively first, intensity defensively, and everything else I think will take care of itself. All right, good luck. Yeah. Thank you for helping yeah. me out on Thanks. Michigan Soccer Central. Thanks for your time. Appreciate right. it. Appreciate it.